What's up, Chucky fans? Chucky fan 101 coming back with another video. In today's video, as you saw by the title, I'm gonna be doing a, a you know, a little sh quick video, you know, giving you guys a Chucky theory on why I think Child's Play 3 took place in Winnipeg, which is the exact location or which is the exact state that uh, Cult of Chucky took place in. Is a state, country, whatever. Don't call me dumb if I'm wrong, but. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a little theory on why I think Child's Play 3 took place in Winnipeg. So, let's just get this theory started. Now, you may be wondering, how is that possible if it's two different movies or something like that? Well, I have a little bit of proof. I have, you know, yeah, I have a little bit of proof that should be able to change your mind. Or, yeah, I have a little bit of proof that should be able to prove to you, you know, that the theory can be possible. So, the first bit of proof comes from the actual movie itself child's play 3 so i have now unfortunately the clip that i was looking for unfortunately was not on youtube and as i was trying to look for the clip on youtube but unfortunately i couldn't find it so i had to film it on the tv using my phone and i'm obviously going to put a copyright warning in the description just so youtube doesn't flag me but yeah, so the first, it's the scene, and so the first bit of proof I have happens during the scene when, you know, every, all the soldiers on the uh, blue team, I think, are hanging out around the fire and they're telling scary stories. And after De Silva gets done telling her scary story, her friend tell, uh, is about to tell a scary story, but before she does, she says something that really, you know, came out or, you know, it really shocked me when I actually heard it, so... Yeah, just listen to what DeSilva's friend says. Is it turned up? Hey guys, yeah, listen to what I got a better story. Listen to what DeSilva's friend says. Hey guys, I got a better story, and it's true. It's about this mental institution, and it's a few miles away from here. And in case you didn't catch that, here's it for you one more time if you didn't catch that. Hey guys, I got a better story, and it's true. It's about this mental institution, and it's a few miles away from here. And in case you still couldn't hear her, she said, I have a better story, and it's true. Underline the word true. It's about this mental institution, and it's a few miles away from here. So that's the first thing that supports my theory, because the entire movie, Cult of Chucky, took place in an asylum slash a mental institution. And she did mention that it was a few miles away from the military or wherever the camp was. So, yeah, that scene really jumped out at me. And, it, you know, really gave me some hard evidence proof or some hard code proof that, you know, this movie must have took place in Winnipeg. But that's not the only bit of proof that I actually have. Some more proof is in, you know, uh... Oh, it's not in that scene, but it's in a different scene. Thank goodness I have them lo loaded up on here already, but it's in this scene. The quality may not be all that good. Get 50% off all Domino's oh, online pizza orders and menu price. Now valid through December 7th, this. which includes I'm right gonna some, now. Ugh. I'm going to put more copyright warnings in the uh, description. <sighs> All right, so what happens in this scene? Now, if you have, if you watch the beginning of Cold to Chucky, you will know that the head, uh, that the safe that contained Chucky's head from the end of Curse, which was in a safe that was being covered by Andy's old Kent sweater, which was in a frame. Now, here is my question: from the parts in Curse that we that in the from the parts in the post credit scene in Curse that we saw, we could not see where that uh sweater was don't you think we would have saw it because you know there was some references from the other movies in this but don't you think we would have also saw his sweater if they were trying to make references the only thing that we saw that was actually from the third movie was his certificate from kent we saw a picture of him and his mom a picture of kyle and his certificate from kent but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys this scene, and if you guys can point out a sweater, uh, his Kent sweater in this scene, then prove me wrong in the comment section below. But if you can't, then uh, continue listening to the theory, but just look around this scene and tell me if you can find his Kent sweater, because when I was looking around, I couldn't find it. So, just let's just skip. 
Hi, mom. So here's the parts that you no, know, here is the parts of his. Uh, here's the parts of his apartment that we can actually see. And so far, I cannot see where his Kent sweater is because they were making so many references from other movies. I mean, there was a picture of him and his mom, the picture of Kyle, and his certificate from Kent. But yet, we still didn't see his sweater from Kent. So don't you think they would have point, pointed that out as a reference? So what happened to that sweater? If you guys can point it out, tell me. I'm just gonna skip through this scene, just so yeah. you'll be able to see. I'll be there like noon, one. What are you making for dinner? And right here is what I was talking yeah. about. So if, if you can't see the words, it says Kent Military Academy. How's Mike doing? So that's the Kent certificate. That's a picture of Kyle, and that's the picture of him and his mom that I was talking about. But in the parts of his apartment that we, in the parts of his apartment that we can see, there ain't no. Uh, you might not be able to hear me, but in the parts of his apartment that we can see, there's no Kent sweater to be saw. I s yeah. Play with this. Andy! Did you notice that the Chucky's voice in that one was different from the one in Curse? Because in this one, oh, I may have confused you, but in this one, he said Andy and then got shot. But at the beginning of Cult, when you know Andy was having a flashback, he said, "Wait," and then he shot him. It was a little weird how they changed it around, but anyway, like I was saying, uh, yeah, like I was saying, when you uh, from the parts of his apartment that we could see, his can't sweater was nowhere to be found. So here's what I think: I think for some weird or regular reason, I guess Andy wanted his sweater back from Kent, but they obviously wouldn't give it to him due to some unknown reason. But somehow he found a way to get his hands on his sweater and Colt. Which means that the cat, that the military must have been somewhere near his apartment. Which means that, you know, Kent could have possibly been in Winnipeg. Now, here's my last bit of proof that I have to show you. You may notice that in Cult of Chucky... Hold on, let me clear up the quality here. Well, we need clear quality here. Thank you very much. So, you may notice that... Uh, at the beginning or in the entire movie of Cult of Chucky, you may notice that it was extremely snowy. So, in this scene, it's red team versus blue team. And in this scene, I could see some snow. I'm telling you, this guy is dangerous. Now, just pay attention to, you know, the surroundings. Or pay attention to it, their surroundings. See the snow everywhere? Where you can really see the snow is right at this part. There's a little mini mountain on the floor and you know it has some snow right there and there's a ton of snow on the Jeep and there's snow everywhere. But you may be wondering, but there's way more snow in Cult than there is in this movie. So there's no way they could be in Winnipeg right now. What I think is that this movie happened. Yeah, this movie happened after a severe snowstorm and this is when all the snow has melted. So that's my last bit of proof actually so I was, let's just end the video right here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's why i think uh child's play 3 took place in winnipeg which is exactly where cult of chucky took place you know we have the evidence of uh, De silva's friend saying that there was a mental institution near the uh military and we have you know the fact that there was not no sweater to be seen in Andy's apartment from the parts that we could see in the post credit scene of Curse and we have the proof that there is you know a ton of snow all around the place and that the, the movie and that Child's Play 3 could have taken place after a severe thunderstorm and this is during the stages of when the snow has you know started melting already so yeah so that's my theory on why I think Child's Play 3 took place in Winnipeg, which is exactly where Cold Chucky took place. So like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Google+, Twitter, and Instagram, all at ChuckyFan101. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, put it down in the comment section what your thoughts on about is. Okay, put in the comment section your thoughts on this theory. And if there's anything you need to tell me, or if you have a theory on any of the movies in general, I will definitely com uh, compile all the theories and put them in one video so if you have theories about the other movies that you'd like to be okay if you have theories on all the movies that you would like you know to be in one of my videos then put them down in the comment section below and i'll take all your theories and put them into one video so bye and have a good day let's just end the video right here where is here we go bye